how to make this really pretty beaded chandelier. I had a video showing it on my TikTok and you guys were like, oh my gosh, show me how to make that. So I'm happy you're here. Let's go make one. For beads, a lot of these are from craft stores like Michael's, but a lot of them are also from beads that I've had for forever, from thrifted jewelry. You can find all kinds of beads from jewelry at the thrift store. Um, really good ones, really unique ones, but truly it's made with a lot of supplies that I already had other than the wreath, of course, but I had already all of the beads. I already had all of the charms and I did have already the chain, but I did need to buy another chain for this project, but it truly is an extremely simple project for when you need something funky and fun for your house. Okay, let's go over the supplies that you're going to need. I have this beadalon wire it is the 0.15 inches by 0.38 millimeters if you need to see um it's 49 strand and it's really nice and strong so this is the string that we're going to be using and then i have some crimp tubes these are size two and then i have my wire cutters and then i have this for making the crimp tubes for like closing the crimp tubes. I'm not quite sure exactly what this is called, but I just call it my crimp tube pliers. And then I just have these charms for the end of the strands. I have some sun ones, some mushroom ones, some fairy ones, moon ones, just whatever your vibe is, just get charms that like kind of match that. And then I have this delectable plate of beads. I put all of the beads together on this plate last night and it looks so scrumptious oh my gosh i'll show you a better look up close doesn't it just look so divine oh my gosh look at these little suns aren't they cute this big seashell just like a bunch of like random eclectic colorful beads i have here um i got a strawberry in here somewhere so cute so yeah just collect a bunch of glass and you know, ceramic, wooden, any kind of just a bunch of beads and you should be good. And my crimp tubes are the Beadalon size two crimp tubes. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to put the string on the wreath and I think it's easier to, I think it's easier to show you up close. So basically what I'm gonna do is find a spot on the wreath put my string on it like that and I have it just laying in there and now I'm going to string on my itty bitty crimp tube okay so I've got that on and now we're going to take the short end and put it through the crimp tube just like that just how you normally would for making jewelry. Okay, now it's on there. And now we just have to attach it with our pliers. You can look up videos on how to use these, but these are absolutely life-changing and I totally would recommend getting a pair if you don't have them already. They are life-changing. Okay, so now we have on our first string. So now we just need to do that with the rest. Um, so I'm going to figure out how to space all the rest of them. All of my string is now attached to the wreath. So I have my wreath laying like this with the strings going this way so I can easily string on my beads. And I'm not going in any like specific pattern um, other than the fact that I don't want like too many like circle beads in a row or too many of like the same color ones in a row. Like I kind of want to vary in sizes like and shapes like smaller ones and then bigger ones, round ones, long ones like funky ones. So I kind of want to go in like a cohesive wonky pattern, if that makes any sense. I'm done with the first strand, so now I'm going to attach my uh, charm to the end. So I'm just going to put on crimp tube and then my charm. 
and then I'm going to take the end of the string and string it back through the crimp tube and pull it nice and tight and then I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to close the jump ring and then I'm going to take the excess wire and just string it right back through the beads. Now that this one's done, I'm gonna keep going and do the rest. Michael's didn't have the same chain that I used last time. And what I did last time is I attached the chain to these three uh, spots on the wreath that they have it like wrapped. And I'm not sure if these are going to be big enough to wrap around that. So I also bought some heavy duty jump rings just in case. So now I'm just gonna measure out a bit of the chain and I think this is enough. And I have my pliers here and I'm just going to break away the ring and then close it back up. Okay, so now I have about this much chain and now I am going to make sure that it's, yeah, that looks good. And now I'm going to measure three more of exactly the same, exactly. You want the links to be, if you even have to count them, you want them to be exactly the same. So you're gonna measure out three chains of the exact same length. Okay, so now I have all three of my chains cut. I'm just holding them up together to make sure that they're all the same length. So I tried to fit these and I think they go through the wreath just fine. So I don't really need the jump rings after all. I just have to hook the chain link onto the wreath. And if I even have to remove the link and put it on that way, cause it's a little bit tricky at times and if you have to use your pliers that's fine too okay and now this one's on so I'm just going to hook the rest of my chain onto this link right here and then I'm just going to close the ring and ideally you are going to like the first time I made this you're gonna have bigger chain links but this is all they had so it's working just fine. Now we have the first one attached and we need to move on to the second one. So rotate the wreath. This one looks like it might be easier, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, definitely easier to get it on there for sure. Got it on. Now we're on the last one. Oh, the third time definitely was much easier. <laughs> okay, so now I have all three done. There we go. Now I have all of the ends of the chain, and I'm just taking a random link that I stole from the, from the long chain and just hook all of the ends right into it, just like that. And then I'm just going to shut it There we go. So now all of them are connected to this chain here. Now this part is definitely up to you with how long you want your chain. Like if you want your chandelier to be hanging fairly low or if you want it to hang very high. So just get an amount of chain that you want and I'll show you how to attach it. So now I have my long chain that I just cut here and I have the chain open. So I'm just going to put it through that one and close it. And there we go. It is attached now all together and our chandelier is done. Do you guys see the chain on the first one that I made? This chain is definitely much better. I got it at Michael's. It's a lot more heavy duty and you're definitely going to want to get more heavy duty chain but as you can see the chain on this one is just a little bit wimpier and i would definitely recommend getting a stronger chain
for yours. But that is how the chandelier looks and it is so beautiful. It's so eclectic and unique and I cannot wait to see your guys' beaded chandeliers. Please tag me if you make one. I would love to see your designs. It was so much fun to make with you and I can't wait till the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.